All right, I guess, let's see if I remember how to do this. What's up guys, this is, I guess, Alexander King <laughs> coming at you with a brand new video now. I know, if you're familiar with the channel, if you already know this not so beautiful face, uh, you might be wondering what the hell happened to this guy in the last year and a half. Uh, who the hell is Alexander King, first of all, and what happened to Guitar Jam? Now, those are all very valid questions and I'll make sure to address them all in a video. Uh, for the moment, just know that the channel is coming back to life, uh, likely. I solved many of the issues that kept me from releasing new videos, including, of course, lack of time. Uh, but I'm extremely excited to, to be back at it. And I could not wish for a better song. And this is why I'm actually releasing this video before actually explaining what's new and what's changing with the channel. Because there is a new song from Linkin Park. Now, I know that when you say that there is a new song from Linkin Park, Either that means that they actually went on and found a new singer that's not Chester Bennington, uh, or they more likely re-released something uh, from maybe an old demo or something that uh, was somewhere in their vault, I guess. Uh, but I already see from the thumbnail of the video that they released that there is like a cartoonized version of Chester. So I'm not expecting a new singer, definitely. I'd be very surprised if that's the case. Uh, but without further ado, guys, Linkin Park are a very special band for me. I'll, I'll talk about that a bit more uh, after we're done with the song. But for now, I guess, let's get started. Let's see how it is. Okay, we're, we're definitely getting some older school Old school Linkin Park vibes. Just a scar somewhere down inside of me. Something I cannot repair, even though it will all Oh, I see. They took bits from other videos, like waiting for the end. That voice. It's me every time. The lyrics, the beat, Johan, very old school, everything is old school in this one. The guitars. Guys, you have no idea how much I miss this sound. Like, it is bringing back so many things. I'm loving also the way that the scene and the bass are working together. I don't know what to say guys, it's the... Um, 
we definitely got Chester. <laughs> so it's not a, a, a new singer, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know, Linkin Park for me, it, it's a very uh, emotional connection for me with this band because it's one of the first bands that I actually started to listen to uh, when I actually started getting into this music, heavier music in general. Uh, by far the first harsh vocals that I heard and that I actually enjoyed. Uh, I remember when Minutes to Midnight came up, I think it was actually the first CD. Uh, it was like a birthday present or something like that. And as soon as given up, the second track just hit and Chester started screaming. I felt something inside me. It's like, okay, this is a very new sound for someone that's used to listen just to mostly I don't know, Italian pop music <laughs> or whatever that was that I was listening to, whatever was that my parents, I guess, were feeding me. Um, but it felt right. It felt like a very healthy way of channeling something that I was feeling when I was younger, that I'm still feeling, of course, and I think that everybody does. Uh, so hearing that voice, hearing those melodies, listening to those words and those lyrics, I see at the end of the video that there is the Meteora um, logo, so I'm guessing that this is like a, a a demo or a song that they recorded during the Meteora uh, or Meteora, I don't know how to pronounce it the English way, uh, years, uh, sessions, and that now they're probably re-releasing. Uh, I guess we're also coming around to the anniversary of the record. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was 2003, so yeah, we're around the 20th year anniversary. Wow. Jesus Christ, time flies. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, you cannot expect me to be objective. I guess that this is what I'm trying to say when it comes to Linkin Park and when it comes to uh, this time, because it just brings back so much. And their music and his lyrics and his voice helped me get through a lot of stuff in my life. So hearing something new, even though it's not new, it's always a present. It's like Christmas. <laughs> um, but to talk a little bit about the, the actual song, because I guess that's what uh, most of you uh, are here for, at least if I remember how to do this. <laughs> uh, on a musical standpoint, what I can say is that, again, it's very old school. Like, you don't hear songs like this being made nowadays anymore. Uh, especially with the beat and the way that the, uh, the DJ, so Johan, uh, is so prominent, but uh, with a very specific sound. So it's not just the synths that maybe you hear all over the place nowadays in pop music, like maybe, I don't know, uh, always come, the first thing that comes to my mind when it comes to those type of sounds, it's The Weeknd, for example. Uh, just someone that brought uh, those slightly more aggressive synth sounds uh, to the mainstream. Not that he is the first one to ever do this, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is a very specific sound that brings you back to those new metal years, beginning of the uh, millennium. Uh, again, as I said, it, it's a sound that I grew up with, so uh, I, I just love it. I just like it. Now, we didn't get any harsh vocals in this one, uh, which in a way I was kind of expecting. Usually, you know, the songs from this time period, uh, there usually was always something, especially uh, during the bridge, uh, where Chester usually, uh, I don't know, for example, Breaking the Habit comes to mind, uh, vibe-wise, when I listen to this song. Um, and, and even in that song, we, you get to hear Chester exploring these uh, harsher vocals, uh, even if not for that much, but there is still something. We didn't get that, but we got the trademark Chester voice and the Chester melodies uh, I, I should say the harmonies even more than the melodies, which work very well together. And something that I also pointed out during the reaction, the way that the synth and the bass work together. Uh, and then, of course, the, the usual formula that Linkin Park, but so many other bands, especially in uh, late 90s, early 2000s, follow. So you bring the heavy guitar scene just for the chorus and the bridge. Uh, and the intro usually, but that's because it mirrors the, the chorus at the beginning of the song. Uh, so there is like a, a variation in dynamics during the song, which is something that I really like and it's something that 
I feel like music lost a little bit, but now there are some artists that are trying to uh, bring it that back. I think it's very important when you over compress and over saturate anything, everything, then the song sounds too much the same, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's nice to have these high and lows in terms of intensity and volume uh, because it just makes it more interesting. It's a more dynamic listening experience. I think it's very nice what they did with the music video. They took, I recognize at least some footage from other uh, music videos and live videos. Uh, and they just, for example, uh, I noticed they're waiting for the end one uh, or and the new divide. I think there were some clips from both of Chester singing and they just made it more uh, animated, I guess, in an anime style, uh, which is also something that brings back a certain time. I don't know if they actually played around with this, but that's also how a lot of people discovered music and this type of music back then. There were these videos, for example, with Dragon Ball Z, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, I should say, or Naruto, and all these anime uh, clips where they will just, in very emotional moments during these uh, very emotional scenes, I should say, and they were just uh, synced with music from Linkin Park, uh, Limp Bizkit, uh, System of a Down, and so many other bands from the early 2000s. So it's, uh, I don't know if they did that on purpose, uh, maybe it's just a coincidence, but I really like this. It, it was even more nostalgic in a way, because again, it's how many people uh, that I know for sure, I don't know if it's a, <laughs> a very common thing, but growing up in Italy and uh, finding out these bands, a lot of that happened through YouTube, YouTube and these uh, type of videos, uh, the early days, I guess, of YouTube. So yeah, guys, what can I say? I really like the song. I didn't have any doubts about that. Again, as I said, I'm sorry, but I cannot be uh, very objective when it comes to Linkin Park, uh, especially, as you all know, after Chester passed away, it's just the uh, hearing his voice again, singing something new that I haven't already heard. It just brings back a lot of emotions. Um, so I think that that also overrides a bit the technical aspects, the musical aspects and all that, which of course are all still important and I still enjoy them actually for this song, but they just go, um, they're not as important as they would be with anyone else or if it actually was just a normal new Linkin Park song with a new singer uh, or if Chester was still alive. Uh, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I know that I, I don't think I, I ever covered Linkin Park on this channel, um, but it's uh, it's a band that I think a lot of people have divisive thoughts on, but undoubtedly one that helped to spread uh, the genre that we all love uh, and certain sounds. Uh, they make them more familiar to people so that then they could evolve and go and discover other things. Other than that, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, uh, as I said at the beginning, I will make a video very soon updating you on the direction of the channel, uh, some very interesting updates on a more uh, personal and artistic side of things as well, with some new music coming out and uh, the launch of a brand new record label as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. There are a lot of details and a lot of interesting ideas as well for content for this YouTube channel, which uh, I guess we'll see a little bit of variation, but again, uh, I, I will make a dedicated video for that. Uh, for the moment, what can I say? It's very good to be back. Say hi in the comments if you're still here from the good old days. <laughs> and I'll see you very soon with, uh, with the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you.